Hello, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. In today's video, I am going to share with you a dream about the rapture that was provided to us by a beloved sister. If you have been blessed with the opportunity to view this video today, I ask that you subscribe to our channel to join our happy Christian family, and also share it with your friends and family so that they too may hear the Lord's message. Staying with me to the end of the video is crucial if you want to fully understand the message I'm trying to convey. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions about this video in the comment section. Nothing has been changed or omitted from the story, and I intend to read it just as it was given to us. Likes and comments are super easy thing that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience. Please, take a second down below and let us know how we are doing. And if you have not subscribed, please, kindly do so right away, it really does help us continue to make content that helps you. Thank you. Greetings, Christians. My name is Olivia, I am from Australia, and I'm here to tell you about two dreams I had about the rapture two days ago. The dreams happened right after each other. Basically it's simply some context I've been hoping for a rapture dream for about three weeks. And my exact request was, Lord, if the rapture is near, if you're taking your church soon, could you kindly just let me know by giving me a rapture dream? I didn't receive it the night I prayed for it. I only want you to remember to pray the prayer not every night, since I'd like to have a rapture dream any time I recall. I remember saying, Lord, if you know you're coming for the church soon, let me dream about it. I've experienced end-of-the-world dreams before, but never an actual rapture dream, so I feel this is God's confirmation that he is coming for his bride very soon, and I hope you'll find encouragement in it. In the first dream, I was with my mother and we were strolling on the earth. We were merely traveling about the planet looking for indications of Christ's return and sharing the gospel. Therefore if we were okay while looking for signs of Christ's return, oh yeah that's a sign, that's a sign. We'd continue to speak the gospel like you know Jesus Christ. Is the Lord do you know who Christ is so we were evangelizing as we were traveling and telling people to repent and that Christ was also coming. The day arrived, and I observed that the individuals Jesus was intending to take with him in the rapture had been sealed. They had G and D letters with a circle attached to them, almost like an emblem. It was quite obvious. With a letter G and a letter D linked to the letter G, followed by a circle around it. I am aware that it represented God. God was clearly identifying his people, as everyone wore a symbol on their chests indicating who God would take with him. I started noticing that on people he was gonna say okay, and then that was the day that that Jesus was gonna come. And then when the time came for him to actually take his people, I remember hearing like rumbling. I was inside of a building at the time, but I remember hearing like rumbling almost like a storm, but very loud just rumbling. Rumbling, rumbling, and then I remember saying aloud and a hopeful and excited manner, I remember saying, God take me along because I knew that he had come. For his people and at that moment I began to rise, I remember I began to rise. I remember reaching the ceiling and afterwards awakening. I was happy when I awoke between that time and when I awoke from that dream, I was not quite awake in the sense of being who I am now, and I didn't want to wake up completely. I was awake but in a sleep-like state, as if I had just awoken from a dream, and I remember shouting, thank you, God, before falling back to sleep. I immediately fell back asleep and remember having a second dream. I dreamt of the rapture. In the dream, I was at home with my mother. I knew we were at home, but it wasn't my home or my mother's home, I simply knew it was a house and that it was our home. 
I remember that my mother and I were conversing, and then the next thing I knew, there were dark clouds I know that there was a ceiling, because our homes have ceilings, but I can actually see through the ceiling, and I remember seeing extremely dark clouds rolling in so aggressively and they were so dark. They were dark, almost as if they were thick black smoke from a fire, but they were clouds that color and they were rolling in so quickly and they were huge. I knew a massive storm was approaching, and in that minute, when I saw it, I knew the end had arrived, and I felt impending dread in my heart. However, it was as if, oh my goodness, everyone here is doomed. And that's what I thought, and I knew that the end had arrived, so I looked to my mother and exclaimed, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. I recall at that time I began speaking to myself. I don't recall saying it out loud, but I do remember speaking to myself. I prayed, God, take me with you, and then suddenly I began to float toward the ceiling. When I reached the ceiling, I woke up. I became aware of the thought while still in a very sleepy state. I remember hearing myself speak subconsciously out loud while I was still in bed before I had even opened my eyes. It was not a deliberate comment, but I recall subconsciously uttering it aloud. Thank you for confirming, and I guess when I heard myself say that it sort of woke me up, and I said thank you for confirming out loud in bed, as if I were speaking in my sleep. I remember truly hearing myself say, thank you for confirming, as if God had given me my first rapture dream. Please take this as some words of encouragement, dear ones. If you have not yet come to know Christ, now is the time to make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior. I'm going to share a dream concerning the rapture that was sent to us by our Christian sister Jennifer. A dream I experienced a few months back included me on the front yard of my house, staring up at an odd array of hues in the sky. Suddenly, out of nowhere, I heard a great trumpet play, and I knew what was occurring, the Lord was there, the wind began blowing wildly, and I saw people being lifted up into the air, and they were all wearing a red and orange color scheme. Even though I did not experience the rapture, I did awake with a smile on my face and the unmistakable sense that the second coming of the Lord was very close at hand. There will come a day when every one of us must choose between being with God in heaven or suffering eternal torment here on earth. Therefore we should enjoy this life while we can, with caution and always do the right thing. God has not called us to sin, but rather to holiness. Thank you and God bless you for watching this video. Please, help us to push this video to a wider audience by sharing with your friends and families and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so.